Good morning, everybody. It's Amber from Micro Artistry. I hope you guys are doing great. So today's video is going to be an intro to the Bronson Tints. Um, if you guys haven't heard of these, they are amazing. They are what people are calling a hybrid tint, um, which means it stains the skin as well as the hair. So this is kind of just an intro video. I'm telling you guys all about the colors, how you use them, um, how to mix it up and how to apply, okay? So this uh, video is also going to be in our training, a couple of our trainings actually, um, for through microartistryacademy.com. And um, so we are the official distributor for Miami and Bronson in the US. We've been retailing Miami and Bronson since 2019 now, so it's been a couple of years. Um, kind of on the cutting edge of brow lamination as it makes its way into the US. So um, honestly, I have never, I've never had a better result for a skin stain than I have with Bronson products. And because of that, I've incorporated, we've collaborated with um, Bronson to do like a little tint kit that goes in all of our trainings. Um, and so I really love this product. And I just wanted to um, talk about that today because we also retail the full line aside from the, um, the little product that you get in your kit. Okay, so if you guys have any questions, please email us. It's microartistrybrows at gmail.com. And um, please buy your Bronson through the official distributor, microartistryacademy.com. Best customer service. Okay, guys, thank you so much and enjoy. Good morning, everybody. It's Amber. I am here today to chat with you guys about Bronson and all of the uh, Bronson tint colors that are available currently. So I'm at my office. This is my um, little container where I keep all of my Bronson. Um, so let's talk about packaging. So the very first thing we need to know is what are we going to buy? Um, if you're seeing this video, you have probably purchased my class. And um, if that's the case, then you have these three colors. You have five, six, and seven. Those come in the Amber's Tint Trio. Okay, these are the most popular Bronson colors that Micro Artistry Academy sells, but we can see that we have multiple other colors to choose from. So um, let's talk about these. So if we're starting at the darkest, the darkest color Bronson makes is deep black okay and this is usually going to be used um, if you're following manufacturers instructions deep black is going to be used for lash tinting and they also have blue black these are both going to be used to tint lashes blue black is actually a little bit lighter than deep black although you would think that it would be opposite um, it's not so if you buy the um, Bronson Lash Lamination Set. These two colors and a developer are included in that kit. So actually I really love that kit and it is wonderful for, for lash lift. So if you guys are looking for um, a good lash lift kit, that's a really good one. So these are the two darkest. People use these two colors to mix in with their brow colors all the time. So it's not something that you can only use for lashes. You can definitely use these for brow colors. Okay, so I'm going to put those down. Now, people always get confused about um, graphite, which is the number two color. Graphite is a cool, a cooling color, basically. So you can add graphite to any of your warmer colors in order to kind of neutralize them and cool them down. And part of the fun of working with Bronson is that you can definitely mix and match and do 50% this, 50% that, or you know, 20%, 30%, 50%, whatever, of any color in order to get your perfect eyebrow color for your client. So it's a little bit of a learning curve. Um, but this is a cool color. It's going to cool down any of your colors, especially number five, which is light brown. I love number five by itself, but if you go on to a lot of the Bronson groups, people don't use this by itself. They always generally add number two to it, the graphite, in order to kind of cool down that color. 
Um, but I love this. This is my favorite color. So that's graphite. Um, we already talked about number three, which is the blue black. Um, and then let's see, we've got two reds here, two colors that are in the red family. So chestnut is the kind of brown, warm brown color that is what Bronson had used for redheads up until now. And then this color, red chestnut, is a brand new color that Bronson just released. And it's basically more of a toner. So if you're a hairstylist, which a lot of you aren't, but if you are, you can consider graphite and red chestnut to be toner colors. This one's gonna cool down your colors. This one's gonna warm up your colors, okay? So you can use this. I've used red chestnut. There's um, a photo on my Instagram. It's microartistry, at microartistry. Um, there's a photo on my Instagram that's red chestnut plus regular chestnut for a redhead, and it turned out really pretty. Um, if you go on the Bronson groups on Facebook, you'll see a lot of people adding red chestnut into their mixes. It's a really pretty color, but a little bit goes a long way. So this is more of a toner color, I would say. Chestnut you can use by itself, no problem. And like I said, graphite's more of a toner color to cool. This is going to warm. All right. So now moving on to number five, which is our regular light brown. Um, I love this color. This is one of my favorites. And this one I have been using for literally the entire year. It is August of 2021 filming this, and I still have some color in here. So this is the very small seven milliliter. You can buy this one through microartistryacademy.com in the kit. That's going to be the, uh, the tint kit is going to have one of these, one of these, a little, um, a little mixer stick and, um, a little like mixer cup. And that's what, like, if you want just to try a couple colors and you want to buy it as a set, that's what this comes with. And so you can see the size difference between something the seven milliliter and it's the 15 milliliter you can buy this this separate and it comes with a stick and a cup it doesn't come with the developer so if you're buying this you need the developer if you're buying the kit it comes with a mini okay and actually this is going to last you a really long time i mean i've been using like i said that that this is my favorite color number five light brown and i've been using this since the beginning of the year and I still have some in my other container. Okay, so we've got a couple more minis. And then if we move on to number six, this is when, as we move up in number, that's when the colors tend to cool down, okay? So a lot of people are on there like, my eyebrows turned green. Okay, there's a couple of things that have to do with that. For one, what what is your client's Fitzpatrick level? If your client is a level four, three, four, five, you know, three, four, five, six, okay, you can get, you can use a number six without having any like weirdness or green tones in the skin. If your client is a Fitzpatrick two, we're having a problem because this is going to be a cooler color, okay? So the warmer the skin tone goes, so if I'm a level four, this is going to be awesome on me okay because I have warm skin this is a cool color so this is gonna balance itself out if I use something like a number five on my skin it's not even gonna show up it's basically the same color okay so you guys are gonna have to know and understand color theory a little bit in order to use these colors but it's not rocket science you guys you can do this okay the darker the skin of your client, the darker the color that you're gonna to wanna to use, obviously, right? The lighter the skin, the lighter the color. So basically, if we think about blondes, I'm gonna give my blondes a number five, perhaps with a little bit of number two in order to cool it down or if they prefer an ashier brow. If they like a taupey pencil, then I'm gonna add a little bit of graphite to cool down my number five, because this is pretty warm, all right? And if they are, say, medium brown hair and want a dark, or have a darker brow, then what I'm going to do is mix up 
50-50 with my number five and number six, and that's gonna give them a really pretty, um, not too cool result because the number five already has some warmth in it. And if I have somebody who's like a fits five or six, they're gonna be a little bit darker. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna mix up number seven with number one, all right? And so the number one is a little bit of the deep black with the seven, and that's gonna give them a darker color because seven might blend into their skin tone. So I hope that this Long makes hair. sense. But what I do wanna show you now is how to mix up your Bronson tint in order to apply it to the skin, okay? So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna choose our color. So right now, let's use Let's use red chestnut because I have a lot of this and it's probably just going to be used for a toner. So what I'm going to do is double check that this is open. And then I'm going to put a little bit right there. You see how red that is. So you guys, don't freak out when you see the color coming out of this container. The color that comes out of the container is not the color that turns into on the skin, okay? Although this one is. So some of these, like graphite, is actually a cool tone, and it's going to come out of the um, container looking pink, and people are freaking out. They're like, what is this? What's happening? So don't worry about that. It's a gel color. So because it's a gel color, this developer is super thick. They make that on purpose. If you guys do hair at all or if you have experience with hair color, you can see that this is like a super liquidy sort of gel consistency. That's normal, that's, a, that's on purpose, okay? And then they make the developer thicker in order to give you a good result. So I'm not sure if you guys have used any brands, but look at uh, additional tint brands, but look at how quickly that mixes. Boom, it's already mixed. Um, I was a, I would, uh, I don't know how to say brands, but I used a different brand for years and years and it didn't do the skin stain. And it also um, was ridiculously hard to mix. It's like, a, it's like a regular hair color with a liquid developer. That makes it really hard. So this makes it super easy. How you're gonna mix it is just like this. I mix it, I like these uh, little barrier films because I can kind of do my thing and then just take this whole thing and toss it at the end of the uh, service. So I like to mix it with a little stick. You let this oxidize for two minutes before putting it onto your client. So as you're starting your service, you can pre-mix everything, let it sit for a couple minutes when your brows are shaped and mapped and all that stuff, then you put this on the client. So I'm going to demonstrate how I do that. Actually, when I'm working, I'll take my micro artistry brush. These we've designed specifically to work with tint. And we have a two pack of brushes. It comes like this. This one's for your highlight after you're done. And this one is for your tint application. And so um, the way that I do it when I'm working is I mix it like this and then I scoop up my color and put it on my glove. Okay, so I scoop it up and put it on my glove little zoom in here focus and then I apply it to my client's skin from here because it can give me like a little bit of a working surface so what I do is I'll scoop it kind of get just a tiny bit when you apply Bronson tint you guys do it in the thinnest possible layer like this product that I just mixed up is almost way too much for one person's eyebrow you just want the very tiniest amount of of tint possible so say this is my person's eyebrow. I'm just going to start at the beginning and I like to go right across the line of the bottom of the brow first. And then I pull it up in the front because I like to remove the front first. You just want the very thinnest possible layer to apply. And then when that, when it's like this, you can barely see this on the skin, especially if it's like a number five, you can barely see this. But when that's dry, you're going to, you're gonna like let this dry, okay? And then you're going to apply a second layer. And as I'm applying my second layer, 
I usually will, if I'm pretending that this is her brow, I'm just going to do the exact same thing, very, very thin. We're gonna pretend that this is dry. Very, very thin, just add a very thin second layer. Let that dry. Okay, be really careful when you're applying this tint because this tint is a stain. So it's gonna stain the skin, it's gonna stain anywhere you touch. Always wear gloves, you don't wanna stain your hands up. Um, and also just for sanitation. <laughs> So we're going to be applying like this. We're gonna let it dry again, okay? And maybe you only need two coats, but see how much extra tint I have? It's way too much. So just think about that. Like you can always mix up more tint, but you know, this is something you're paying for. So think about this. Like if you have two eyebrows and all you need is this much tint, you have way too much, you know? So I always say a pea size amount or less than a pea size amount in for mixing. You do not need a whole bunch of tint when you're doing one person's eyebrow, okay? So um, two coats, I always do two coats first, and then at like the five to six minute mark, depending on the person's skin, I'm going to remove this. Um, let me show you how I do that, okay? Let me pause for a sec. Okay, so what I do, this is our bathe cleanser with a little bit of water. And so what I do is I take a spoolie, I dip like this in the bathe cleanser, and this is the front of the brow. So in order to create an ombre effect at like the five minute mark, or you know, whatever it is, depending on like how your client's skin is and how the color is taking, I'll take this and I'll just drag it up up and sort of to the side. So that way I'm removing a lot of the um, tint, a lot of the stain from the front of the brow. And I'm not gonna scrub too hard. I'm just gonna barely kind of softly remove. And you can if you decide, oh, okay, that's too much. You can kind of scrub a little bit in the front. Be careful after lamination doing this. You don't wanna be like scrubbing too hard on the skin after lamination. But, um, but then, I'll let the rest of the brow process. If I find that this is not dark enough, which of course you can tell how much it stains even just this color on the glove. If I find that that's not dark enough, I'll say, oh, okay, I'm just gonna go in a little bit more, kind of pull some more color through, or I'll even do this, like kind of brush it on a little bit like that in order to give it like a blended look in the front so it's not so hard. You know, the line, we don't really want these front part lines to be really hard. It's not really that flattering, especially with how dark some of these tints will take. So so then, you know, you just let the rest of this dry. Um, you can leave the tint on up to 20 minutes. They say don't, um, they say the best way to ensure a darker result is to leave it on longer, okay? So if you find that um, you're using it, you're practicing, and things aren't lasting that long. It's not taking that well on a regular person, not on somebody who's been laminated. Then you're going to want to leave the tint on longer next time, okay? And what I like to do, and let me show you this, is I have a little fan that I blow these layers dry because time is money, right? So, hold on. So I have this little fan that... I ordered on Amazon and you can just turn this on and in between layers, just blow on there, get that layer dry quicker and then you can add the second layer. So I really like this thing. This is just something I found on Amazon. You can buy it there and it's pretty quiet but it has three levels. So I like to use that in between my layers just to dry the tint quicker. All right, so I hope that this all makes sense to you guys. Um, again, just to recap, one and three are gonna be more your lash lift and tint colors, but you can also mix these into your Bronson regular tints. Um, let's see, number two and number 4.1 are kind of what I would call toners. This one's gonna warm, this one's gonna cool. And let's see, number four is like a chestnut brown. 
Number five is your light brown, which is good for blondes, and you can also mix your number two graphite in with this. And number six and number seven are gonna be for your darker Fitzpatrick levels, okay? So four, five, six, Fitzpatrick. And if you're at a six, you can always do number seven with some number one, okay? And that's all, that's all pretty easy. I mean, if you think about this, like the cooler skin tones are gonna be your lighter people. They need warmth. You're gonna warm them up. And then the warmer skin tones are gonna want some cool colors. So number six and number seven are the cooler colors, okay? So if you use these colors on the wrong person, it's going to appear green. You're gonna know pretty quick. But also, as a little side bonus, if it does kind of appear green in the beginning, you can always warm that up also. So say you use number six and you're like, oh no, this is turning, this turned a little green. I'm not gonna send her out like this. Well, two things you can do. You can use your fan on it for a few minutes see if that's gonna because like the oxidation kind of gets rid of some of the green sometimes so that's great um but then also you could say okay forget that i'm gonna mix up number five or i'm gonna mix up number four and put that on top of my number six and see if that warms up the, the green okay there's some things you can do to salvage this all right guys so don't worry I mean, it's a, it's a little bit of a learning curve, but once you guys get this, it is the best. It's the best product on the market. So I hope you guys learned something. Keep me posted about any um, questions that you may have, and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks.